Okay, uh, let's begin the uh, August 24th uh, Finance Committee meeting. Uh, it's going to be a relatively short meeting. If we could start with introductions, this is uh, Steve Miller. Go around the room. Julia Olofsson. Who else is on the... Uh, the committee is uh, Mr. Leon and you, Julia. Okay. And myself, so. So that and is the other, other and board members are here as members yeah, of the attendees, public. yeah. Um, and Kathy. Kathy. Yep. So we have one item on the agenda for today. Okay. Uh, as I said, it's going to be a short meeting. Um, a Keystone Collections Group discussion for real estate and per capital tax services. So, Kathleen? This is the last piece of the restructuring of the business office. That is the business office. What I'm trying to do is reallocate all of the positions that we have to more efficiently do everything that needs to get done in the office. And this is the last piece that I have. I have researched many companies. We currently use DCIU to print all of our tax bills. They send the tax bill out for us, and we do all the work inside. You know, we, you know the tax collectors that we have here, we do the law firm. So we have one person on staff that's actually doing a lot of it. 80% of her time is spent taking phone calls, doing all the tax bills, all the corrections that go through the lockbox. She does the whole thing. The only thing that the DCIU does currently is just print the bills and download the bills. This company that I found that there's uh, like Avon Grove, uh, a couple other districts in um, Chester County, I've done a little research on who they actually work with has switched over to this Keystone uh, group that does everything. So not only do they take, they print the bills, they have their own tax system, they make all the, the phone calls all go to them, they make all the corrections in the system, they keep up with the census, they do the whole nine yards with it. Even the app 80, they get involved with the app 80, which is very time consuming annually. So the savings that, um, if, we, if you allow me to, um, outsource this last piece in the business office. There's a savings between DCIU and Keystone is about $22,000. However, they're going to start earning this revenue that we have. We've got $22,000 worth of revenue in tax certifications that we get annually. That's a phase out. We won't, that, that, if we go in depth, it'll be three years before we lose that revenue. But in three years' time, I'm going to be able to do more efficient things in the business office where the audit, which costs 40 to 45000 can probably be cut down to about thirty five or I mean, to 25 to maybe yeah, about 25000 Because there's a lot of pieces that Irvine currently does for us. They actually do our statement, which other districts, they don't always do the statements. We should actually be presenting statements to them instead of having them come in. That's where you're going to get a lot of your findings because there's a lot of pieces that are not being done in our office. It's actually being brought to them. So, regardless, um, I'm asking for permission to be able to outsource this, but I want to know if anybody has any questions on the way that the process works. No, it seems like there's some slight savings, but a lot of business process improvements and efficiencies moving forward. So, yeah, I, Seems a good idea to me. Yeah. Right. I agree. Do you want me to put it on the agenda for next month? Yeah, please. Yeah. I think so. Agree? Yes. Okay. I just have one other thing just to go over just so you're aware of you know, full disclosure here. Okay. Um, apparently, with the Social Security, there was a $40 million shortfall in the subsidy payment for 19 that not for our budget, not just for our budget, but it's there, it's not just us, it's just there's forty million overall for the subsidy in the in the country. 
our part of that is about three hundred and forty nine thousand. About three hundred about three hundred thousand. Yeah, three forty nine is what we say that we receive, but they're saying we receive six twelve. There's a lot of stuff going back and forth. I am not sure exactly what this is going to look like. They say they're going to try to make it up in next year's money. They're going to, it's, it's about 300000 I don't know if we're going to get it. I don't know if we're going to get it, but I will keep you posted. So we might be getting about 300000 less next year, is it? When you file the 2105, which is my end of year report, it indicates that we received 620. We didn't. We only received 650. So we're shy some money, and then there's a little bit of money from fourth quarter that we're we'll missing as well. And this isn't just our district. These are districts across the state. There's a $40 million shortfall. I don't know how to make it up. You said you received how much? Yeah, you received. Three, um, we actually only received 349, but they said we received 620. Wow. Yeah, so it's almost about a $300,000 shortfall that we're going to be seeing for this year. They have their the legislation going on. They're not even going to know anything until September. I'm not sure if I'm going to be. I, I got to find out with the auditors. I don't even know if they're going to approve for this. Is that one year? Yeah. So, so, so when they send money in, they send us like, a statement that says, I filed the, the, the PDE 339 is something I filed on a quarterly basis. It goes alongside with the um, payroll taxes. So I filed that with the state. And every year it was doing fine right up until about COVID. When I filed that first quarter of 2020, it indicated on the form that we were already paid six hundred twenty thousand. We were not. We were only paid three hundred and forty one thousand. So when I contacted the state, they said you can't be late to file your form, so you file the form. Now there's a lot of discussion throughout the state. It's not just our district, which makes it nice because there's a lot of districts asking the same question. When is that money gonna be made up? And it's there's there has been this has been on the table for a bit and PDE's hands are tied at the moment. We anticipate that this will become a part of the rest of 2020-2021 budget discussions, which are expected to occur in November, and a $40 million supplement to the account for 1920, and likely additional funds to fully fund 2021 will be rolled into that conversion. So we're not going to see this money at all. Probably, we're not going to see it for a while, if we see it. Yeah, so it's over, over a quarter. It was the quarter is when it hit. We were doing fine right up until that first quarter of the year. Yeah, but, but Mr. Strobel's question, is it 300000 for the quarter that we're missing, or was it for the year? At least for the whole year. For the whole year. For that one quarter. It was reported that quarter. Okay. Yeah. And we were fine in the, in the 19th, in the first two files that we Yeah, and I'm not, I, I don't want to overstate, I'm just trying to understand it.
Okay. I'll keep you posted when I get more information. All right. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay
some of that, um, yeah. like kind okay. of sell that somehow. Okay. Have to have that final before October. I'm going to have to have 19 until last year. Right. That and makes sense. Yeah. And I've got to start the budget. Yeah, for next year. To right. sit, or, you're flagging everything that's COVID related that you will be able to report. Uh, okay, that's I'll be in front of you. Okay. We have complete Google Docs that three of us have access to the main PO writers in the office. Mm -hmm. As soon as something comes through, because we have a two tier process. My, the, the CFO administrative assistant, she actually approves before I even see it. Okay. So she's a requirement that anybody, anybody, and there's been a lot of questions, but they can't be certain purchases just because it was because of COVID. If it's in the normal course of business, I can't do it for you. Right. Maybe you can do it for something else. So it's good to keep that list. If it's COVID related, it's on that list. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Any other questions? You're in the business. All right. Thank you. Includes the finance committee.